On October 31st, the MHS Journalism staffs hosted a Halloween bash for kindergarten through fifth graders. A first time event is always a challenge since no one knows what to expect. So all of our journalism students are wanting to attend a national convention in Denver this spring. And they wanted to raise some money to be able to um, put toward going to that conference. And we also wanted to do something that would kind of provide a service for the community. So Cassie Padilla, one of our students, came up with the idea of doing a trick-or-treat street for elementary kids. And that's how we came up with the idea. I think that the event was really successful. We serviced over 160 different kids. And everybody that came through was just talking about how amazing it was and how happy they were that we were doing something, that there wasn't anything like this in the community, and that they hoped we would do it again next year. So I think it was really successful in that end. As an organization, we raised a little over $500, and that should be enough to kind of pay for our buses for the trip. The event required a lot of planning and featured a variety of activities for kids. So during the Halloween bash, students entered um, first and went down like a trick-or-treat street and so they got about 30 pieces of candy in the trick-or-treat street. After that they went into a haunted maze story. So they kind of were read a little story and then they kind of did like a little haunted house. And then after the haunted house they could either go outside and do relays and a leaf jump and kind of outdoor activities, physical activities. And then they could go into um, a game area where they did like a cookie decorating area, face painting area, um, pop the balloon, do a cakewalk, coloring corner, um, pumpkin toss, like all kinds of little games like that. Now that the first Halloween bash is history, the question is whether or not to make it an annual event. I'm not sure that we'll do it again next year. It was definitely a really big endeavor and it took a lot of students to kind of put it together. Um, we, I would like to thank the ROTC and the LULAC kids for donating a lot of their time. Teacher Matt Jenkins attended the event with friends. I thought it was really fun and uh, a great opportunity for the little kids to get some candy and come to a haunted house and a bunch of really cool games. And it was a neat, safe, uh, excellent activity for all our young people. Of, um, and the hall looked really cool. Uh, you guys did a really good job uh, decorating the hall. Yearbook and newspaper staff member Cassie Badia was the brains behind the venture. All right, well, since I'm on both yearbook and chieftain staff, I kind of just put it together for everyone so I could communicate with both staffs. And I came up with the idea and most of the events that happened, and then each, like, group of people that ran those events kind of changed things up and organized it themselves. But Padilla feels that the planning and effort paid off. I think if we did put it on next year, it would be as a project for community service hours and just for the community. Because they really liked it, and we got a lot of, like, thank you notes, and parents, like, told us how nice it was of us. And I feel like it's not a good, like, way of fundraising, but it's it was fun, and it was crazy to put together, but I feel like it was worth it. With the success from the Halloween Bash, the journalism staff has a good start towards their trip to the National Convention.